But the success of his latest album may have sent him over the edge. The Manchester legend scored his 10th no one in a row with Who Built the Moon? He said, it made chart history so this was the one that pushed me over the edge into sublime arrogance. I am in my own universe now of extreme self-confidence. I think my new album has got legs and I think the longer it is around the more people will like it. Noel discovered new methods of writing music working with producer David Holmes and it's already got him thinking about the next one. He added, if you think this one was far out then David has got an idea for the next one which is going to send people over the edge. But the elder Gallagher says he won't be afraid to play a few golden oldies on next year's tour. He said, so I'm not that much of a moron to think I'm just going to go and play everything from the High Flying Birds catalogue. Then when you're on stage singing the importance of being idle or half the world away then you're in a moment of nostalgia with the people. If they let me play what I want then I'll play what I think they've come to hear. That's about as far it goes though for Oasis for me, I don't walk around the house with a Union Jack guitar and a parka shouting, mad for it to my kids, and they're shouting back, man's not hot and I'm shouting, mad for it and they're going back, man's never hot. Apostrophe. Dash Halsey decided against dusting off her Christmas jumper and channeled a festive Beetlejuice instead. The Bad at Love songstress sported a sexier version of the pinstripe suit as she performed at KISS FM's Jingle Ball in Chicago. Boyfriend g Easy was spotted supporting her at the side of the stage. Also joining the lineup was Demi Lovato who performed new tracks Tell Me You Love Me and Sorry Not Sorry. Dash. The 10 richest young musicians see who tops the Sunday Times list of the UK's richest musicians. UB40 legends Ollie Campbell, Astro and Mickey Virtue have shot a new music video for Comeback Darling. The British reggae stars have teamed up with Virgin Holidays to encourage tourists to head back to the Caribbean after Hurricane Irma. The threesome performed at Pineapple Beach Club in Antigua before meeting the locals in the promo. Dash Ariana Grande has confirmed she's working on her next album. The side to signed hitmaker has been teasing new music on her, a year after her Dangerous Woman LP. Referring to a blurry photo of her in the studio, she wrote, I am pretty sure this is very old or fake. If you wanted confirmation that I've been working why didn't you just ask? She uploaded pics of herself in the studio and a sound clip. Dash Queen plus Adam Lambert, The O2 Arena, London The Rock Legends proved they're still the champions, with more than a little help from Adam Lambert. The former American Idol contestant was full of praise for the musicians he was sharing a stage with and spoke of his love for original singer Freddie Mercury, who died in 1991. Lambert brought a lot to the party himself, Brian May described him as a gift from God, which made sense given how magnificently he sang Who Wants to Live Forever. The sight of him riding a pink tricycle around the guitar-shaped stage during bicycle race was flamboyant and fun. Brian and Roger Taylor had their moments to shine, too. While the guitarist's solo may have gone on a bit too long, the drummer proved he still got impressive pipes when he sang A Kind of Magic. And there was magic in the climactic run of classic anthems, Radio Gaga, 
Bohemian Rhapsody, We Will Rock You, and We Are The Champions, capping off a royally great show. Dash Carty B has been sharing style tips with her fans after teaming up with Steve Madden for his holiday campaign. The rapper celebrated fronting the new collection, saying, Every woman needs a pointy shoe. And she added, If I button this shirt I could go to a business meeting, but also to the club. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.